Welcome to a hidden tag card set tutorial. I'm Shari Filamahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters, and I am excited to teach you how to uh, take some Graphic 45 papers and really utilize them to their fullest. This card set is all about layers and dimension, and we're gonna really show you how to get into those papers and cut out some of those fun images to really utilize them as uh, embellishments. We'll also be using some foam adhesive just to make each of those layers pop just a little bit more, adding some fun um, interactive elements for the recipient. All six of these cards that we'll be creating this month have been designed for us by the fabulous Ginger Rop of my sister Scrapper. And if you know Ginger, she never disappoints and always offers up new techniques and great ways to really utilize your Graphic 45 products. If you aren't yet a Club G45 or a G45 Card Club subscriber, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do that. Hop on over to our website, g45papers.com, and you can subscribe to get a kit delivered to you every month in the mail, or you can just pick up uh, the kit, this kit if you'd like. This kit comes with our 8x8 Fairy Wings uh, paper pad, along with our Fairy Wings journaling and ephemera cards, the ATC ivory tags, and our ivory card bases with coordinating envelopes. And each kit also comes with a uh, bag as well as a full color step-by-step -step instructions. So let's go ahead and get started on creating. So this is our first card that we will be creating leave a little sparkle is what it says up here which that's exactly what these cute little cards are doing step one we're going to grab our daffodil dance we're cutting the b side and we want this to be three and a quarter by five inches and then taking an ivory a2 card base which unfolded is eight and a half by five and a half and we are going to adhere that piece on the inside of our card base and just using whatever adhesive you like to use, I'm using a liquid um, art glitter glue adhesive, but just pull out your favorite and then make sure you uh, burnish out any air pockets. From your ephemera card pack, we're gonna grab this Dreams three by four inch card and we're going to adhere this B side up, just right in the center so we've got some nice place to do some uh, writing uh, sentiment. Next from our butterfly whimsy paper, we are gonna be trimming out this cute little butterfly cut apart. However, first we do want to trim off all of our border strips because we will be using those later. So trim off uh, each of those into four pieces and then take out that cute little butterfly cut apart. We're just going to cover up this cart postal text. As per usual, I'm not going to be um, inking my edges just to show you how to keep it nice and simple, but our other sample will have those beautifully inked edges so you can just grab any coordinating ink if you'd like and adhere or uh, ink those edges before you adhere everything down. Step three, we're cutting a piece of daffodil dance to measure two inches by five and a quarter and then this is going to go on the left hand side of the front of our card and we want the top, bottom, and left um, ivory margins to be the same. Now we're going to locate this four by six fairy ephemera card and we are going to trim off this yellow border. And then on the top and bottom and the back of the right hand side, we are going to add some liquid adhesive forming our pocket. So we do want our opening on the left hand side. So make sure you're positioning that adhesive correctly and then just going to have our border go all the way around leaving that eighth of an inch ivory showing from the butterfly whimsy page we're going to trim out this leave a little sparkle sentiment and then pop up some foam adhesive on there and then this is just going to go about an inch from the top on the left hand side and then from the B side of Daffodil Dance, we've cut this to measure three quarters by one and a quarter. And then we are just going to make a cute little flag banner out of this. So just cutting a V from the bottom. And then we'll pop this up with some foam adhesive. And then we're going to take this Woodland Wishes paper and we are going to be um, cutting out some of these circled butter or one of these circled butterflies rather and if you have a hole punch that's uh, three quarters of an inch that's going to be the perfect size and it'll get you one of these that you can just punch out 
This I used a 5 8 of an inch circle punch and also uh, looks very nice. And then this is a half an inch circle punch, which will still work. Um, so you can kind of, if you don't have the three quarters of an inch, you can use what you have. Otherwise you can always just take your scissors and do a little fussy cutting around that bubble. And your fussy cut should look something like this. Adhere that on top of that yellow banner. Next, from the blowing bubbles paper, we are going to cut out this circle right here on the left. Uh, you can fussy cut like we did the last one, or you can use a circle punch. Uh, this circle punch was a one and uh, one and three eighths of an inch circle punch. Um, I also measured the one and a quarter inch circle punch, and that would get that um, perfectly around the white border as well. Then from the rainbow sparkle page, we're going to uh, cut out this cut apart and then we're going to fussy cut these two butterflies. And just to get you started, if you're new to fussy cutting, we're going to just loosely cut around each of our butterflies that we want to fussy cut. And then taking some fine tip scissors, uh, you're going to, go in, to go ahead and work your paper through about the center of your blade. And then you're just driving that paper along the lines of whatever image you want to fussy cut. And of course, you can get as detailed as you'd like, but you can also, you don't need to worry if you accidentally cut off a little bit or piece there. You can always cover it with extra layers or ink, ink your edges will help hide any imperfections as well. I know a lot of people ink their edges just with like a ink blending foam ink blender and some um, of our graphic 45s decades inks or whatever ink pads you have at home. But you can also use a coordinating uh, marker like a felt tip marker and go along the edge as well. Now some of our um, designers who prefer to do shabby chic things like to do a little bit of like a white paint marker or white ink, giving it that nice shabby chic look. And if any of you are familiar with Ginger Rop of my sister Scrapper's work, you'll know she is not a huge fussy cut fan. So it's fun that in this card set, we are going to be doing a little more fussy cutting than normal, just to kind of really showcase how beautiful our, these papers are and how you can really use up your leftover scraps to add embellishments to your projects. Fussy cuts and we're just going to adhere the bottom of our larger butterfly on the top of our bubble. And then I've just adhered one of those two wings to the base of our bubble so it can have a little bit of movement as well. And then this is going to adhere down on our pocket towards the bottom left. And these are fun and dimensional cards. However, they do still fit in the provided envelopes. So it does take just a little bit of patience while you're wiggling them in there, but they will uh, fit in those envelopes. And of course, if you want them to be even flatter, you can just uh, leave out the foam adhesive on these different elements. Step seven, from the B side of Fairy Wings, we've cut a square to be two and a half by two and a half inches. And then we adhered two strips of Daffodil Dance that measured to be a quarter of an inch by two and a half. Butterfly Whimsy, we've cut out these two fairies dancing and adhered those on a diagonal. Now all that's left to do with your cards is insert your tags into the left-hand side. And voila, we have card one done of our series. And this is using that same template we used from card one. However, we put our pocket on the right hand side instead of the left. And we've mixed up our papers, but it's, uh, we still have our banner here, our uh, circle piece and some fussy cut butterflies. And then on the inside, we've got another gorgeous little journaling card and a cut apart. Card two. 
we are going to be taking our magical meadow B side and we've cut this to be five inches by three and three quarters. Adhere that to the inside of your card. This, we are going to be opening our card this way, this go around. And then we're gonna locate this dream ephemera card and we're going to adhere it journaling side up, which is just so gorgeous. These nice watercolor backgrounds, the florals. And then from our daffodil dance, we've cut this to be three quarters of an inch by two and three quarters. And then we've cut out a V on the bottom. And this is just gonna go flush with our pink stripe at the top and overlapping our journaling card and the pink stripe. On Woodland Wishes, we're gonna be fussy cutting out a butterfly with um, a few of those blossoms. So I'm just gonna cut these blue flowers by this butterfly and then I'll do some fussy cutting. Here your fussy cut onto the top of your yellow banner. Two. We're taking the B side of Magic Meadows and cutting this to be five and a quarter by four inches. Adhere that onto your card front and then we are going to take this border strip from Butterfly Whimsy and we have cut this to be about five and a quarter of an inch long and then this we'll adhere an eighth of an inch from the top of our stripes and then grab this find the magic a six by four inch ephemera card and then we are going to trim off the purple and blue just down to the pink border and we want this to end up measuring to be uh, five and a quarter by three and a quarter and then on the back side add liquid adhesive in a u shape and this will adhere right flush with the bottom of your pink stripes and the sides. And from these two ephemera cards, we're going to be doing some fussy cutting. So this make a wish, we're going to take out these two florals in the top left and keep them um, connected together. And then from this one, we'll take out this butterfly down here. So we'll end up using some foam adhesives and just pop those flowers in the top left and our butterfly in the bottom right, adding some really nice uh, shade and dimension. Step five, we're taking our tiny blossoms B-side and we've cut the square to be two and a half by two and a half. And then from the B-side of Magic Meadows, we are going to add this to the top here and this has been cut to be a quarter of an inch by two and a half. Butterfly Whimsy, we've cut out this fairy image and we will just adhere it right on the center of our tag. And now we can add our tag to our pocket. Taking that same template, we've also made a card using some of our, the leftover papers, as you can see here, and the ephemeras, and then just added some nice fussy cutting to add extra dimension. Now let's get started on card number three. We have taken the B side of Woodland, Woodland Wishes and cut this to be three and a, three and three quarters by five inches. And adhere that to the inside of your card. And then taking this three by four Magical Things journaling card, we'll adhere this to the center. And then we've got our border strip from Butterfly Whimsy that measures to be three and three quarters and adhere that to the in between uh, your magical things card and your top pink background from the b side of fairy wings we've cut a piece to be three quarters of an inch by one and a quarter and then uh, just notched out a v at the bottom to create that cute little banner style and this is going to go on the bottom right of our journaling card just a little bit off to the right hand side and then from our blowing bubbles paper, we've taken a one inch circle punch and just punched out this cute little fairy. You can always just take your detailed scissors and fussy cut that out as well if you don't have a one inch circle punch. And then that's just going to adhere right on top of our little banner. Step two, we've cut from the B side of blowing bubbles, a piece that's gonna be four inches by five and a quarter. With the words right side up, Adhere that to the front of your card base. 
No, you do want to cut this piece from the bottom of your blowing bubbles paper to save this dreams word that we will be fussy cutting later. From the B side of the fairy wings paper, we've cut this to be three and a half by four and a half. And then we're going to adhere it flush to the right hand side of our decorative paper and then equal from the top and bottom. Locate this leave a little sparkle four by six ephemera card and then trim off all that blue so you end up with this nice framed fairy. And then now we've added our adhesive to the top, bottom, and the back of the right hand side. And then this is just gonna center on our blue gingham. Step four, we're gonna be doing some fun decorating. So we are going to be fussy cutting this dreams word out of our B side of our blowing bubbles paper. And then we'll add some foam adhesive onto the back of that. And then we're gonna fussy cut out a daffodil and some purple flowers from the scraps of Magic Meadows. And then we'll cut out a uh, fairy blowing a bubble from Blowing Bubbles. And then from our Butterfly Whimsy page, we'll uh, cut out these two cute little fairies here. So we've added our dreams just to uh, the top right hand side of our fairy ephemera and just put some foam adhesive on there to give it some nice dimension and depth. And then we've taken our uh, daffodil and our uh, flowers and adhered them into the top left hand with that fairy. And then we have one of the purple flowers fussy cut and adhered down here giving some nice more depth and then those two cute little friend fairies here. Step five from the B side of fairy wings, we've cut out a square to be uh, two and a half by two and a half. And for butterfly whimsy, we've cut out our border piece to also be two and a half. And then from the butterfly whimsy paper, we've cut out this cut apart that says someday you will be old enough to read fairy tales again. And then we've cut out a uh, fussy cut out this uh, purple flower as well. And then that tag just slides right in on the left hand side of that pocket. And then using that same template, we've created another card with a dreams cut apart. This cute little blue and purple tag. We have had so much fun creating these magical tag cards with you today. We hope that you've had a great time along with us and we'd love to see what you've been creating. So be sure to go ahead and share your projects with us on Instagram or on our Graphic 45 official Facebook community page using that Graphic 45 hashtag. And if you aren't already a subscriber to our YouTube channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Uh, we put out a card tutorial every month along with two other Fun Club G45 tutorials. So uh, hit that notification bell too so you know when we have new tutorials up. And we thank you for joining us. And as always, happy paper crafting.